y'all, Amy Reeves here with Planet Usborn. Um, this is our very first live at lunch. Yay! Um, so I wanted to start doing this series. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, we're gonna be I'm gonna be coming on the this page every Wednesday. I'm doing a live at lunch and hopefully showing you some of the some of my favorite books. Um with Usborne Books and more, and maybe helping y'all out, giving you a few recommendations, letting you see inside a little bit. Um, feel free to interact and um, have a good time, and then I'll be posting these also to my YouTube channel, um, which is also called Planet Usborne. All right, so today I wanted to show you inside some of my most favorite infant and toddler young toddler books. Um, so I have a one-year-old who is kind of going from, trans she's tra kind of transitioning from the toddler, or from the young, young baby books that we have, um, our fold-out books, and she's transitioning into some of the more interactive, touchy-feely books. So let's start with those. Um, so for a very young, I'm talking less than one year old, I've got a couple of books here that are fantastic um, to help them get started in life, um, help them help you through tummy time or, you know, anyway. All right, let's start with some of our touchy-feely, squishy bitey books. So this is our Hello Baby. We have a series of four of these books. These are awesome books. So I'll just show you inside real quick. This is by Kay Miller. Okay. So it's got, this is the colors. This is called Rainbow Colors. And as you can see, they're vibrant. They're exciting. All the high contrast that you get with these books. That's what babies can see when they're first um, starting to develop that first year, that high contrast. Now, this is another series we have. This is the Hushabai series. This one is Hushabai Owl. I love this book, and this is supposed to actually be attached here, but my one-year-old loves this book, so it's unattached. It's got touchy feelies. It's got cool fabrics. It's got all kinds of fun things. This is the front of the book. You flip it around and that, oh, that's the back of the book. Now, if you need to wash these books, they are washable. You just need to use a damp cloth. Listen to me, cloth. Cloth. Okay, so then you open it up and it's got a really sweet little story in here. Um, just really adorable, very sweet, soft, something that you can fall asleep in bed with, you know, um, when they're older, older, don't put books in bed with babies or anything else in bed. <laughs> um, this also animal noises. I love this book. Very simple, very easy. But high contrast, again, catches their attention. It's a board book. And, guys, it's only $4.99. You cannot beat that. It's amazing. Okay, so then, um, one, all babies have to have tummy time. This is one of my favorite books for tummy time. This is a one, two, three counting, and it is a fold-out book. What's a fold-out book? This is a fold-out book. Look at all those high contrast pictures they can look at. This, you're gonna put them down on the floor and they're gonna be able to, they're gonna practice lifting up their head and looking around, turning, all because of this. And then you can also turn it around and you get the other half of the numbers right there. Look at all that, isn't that gorgeous? It's just amazing, a wonderful book. Um, you can also open it up like this and flip through it like a normal book as well. One, two, three, counting. 
I absolutely love that book. Um, another great fold-out book. I'm going to move this back just a little. There we go. Okay. Another great fold-out book we have is Farms. Um, we have many, many fold-out books, but I just want you to take a look at this where they can start learning about their animals. And again, that high contrast is just going to really help them see it um, as their eyes develop throughout that first year. Now, um, those are great for the first year. The next one that I would suggest, um, so my Riley, like I said, she's 14 months now. And this is starting to be one of her favorite books. I absolutely love this one. Again, very high contrast. It's a little bit busy, but it really just, I, I'm just not getting this right. There we go. Okay. Really just has so much to do. There are finger trails here. There's little cutouts where they can feel. So as they're exploring, Babies usually explore with their fingers, with their mouths. This is how they learn about the world around them. And, you know, they're going to be able to see all these wonderful things and feel them and feel the textures. Okay, so that, these are, um, that was Baby's very first playbook. So this one is... Baby's very first touchy feely and lift the flap playbook. Okay, so just like the other, it also has finger trails. Starts right here on the front cover. This one has squishies. Their very first flaps. More finger trails. Cutouts. More flaps. Just you know, anything for that older baby. Okay, so they're going to start learning how to take care of their books at this age. Um, you can start teaching from a very, very young age how to take care of their books. It's just, oh, look at this one. It's a fuzzy little caterpillar. Um, okay, so the next one, I love this book. It is so much fun for me as a parent. So this is our bus book, okay? It has wheels, guys. It actually rolls. How fun is that? Um, it's fun for me to read it to her. So we can put it on the floor and let her zoom it around. Um, like a bus, it's got a very high contrast pictures again um, for that eye development and a very simple story that you can read to your baby. Again, and just instilling that love of books and that love of learning. Okay, um, also wanted to show you these amazing little board books. I Can Count is the one I have on hand, but there are several others on the web page. Um, so you open it up, it's magnetically sealed, magnet, and then you open it up and you've got nine little books in here. I'm just going to pull out one of them and see they have the, you know, the background. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? There you go. Um, so it's really fun. Like, you open it up, it's just, they count the one, the one, and one more is two, and then you move on to two, and on the back here, there's a cute little rhyme, it is so much fun, very engaging, um, and you know, it's perfect for their tiny little hands, look how thick those are, it's a very durable little book. Um, really good for that little baby to get their hands on and start learning their numbers. Absolutely love this. 
and they can use them as all kinds of things. My Riley loves to use this, and my actually my three-year-old Colton, he loves to use this as well. Um, he looks through them all the time. He also uses them as blocks, um, makes himself towers and counts the blocks as he's putting them on all together. Okay, the next series we have that I wanted to show you is the That's Not My series. Love this series. We have over 50 of these books. So if you, if I haven't shown you one that you like, get on the website. There are so many for boys and girls. There's Christmas. There's um, angels. Um, our newest one is Unicorn. Guys, that one sold out twice last season. Um, that's not my dinosaur. This one is so much fun. It's touchy-feely, of course. As you can see, my son has already started ruining the binding. But that's okay because Usborn has a 50% off uh, replacement policy. Um, so it starts here on the cover. That's not my dinosaur. Its body is too squishy. And then you go through and it's just an adorable little mouse trying to find his dinosaur. And there's touchy feelies throughout the whole book. Now, this one is also good for your beginning readers, the ones who are just barely starting out because it is so repetitive and so um, easy to figure out from the picture what what the um, problem what what the what the words are. I can't talk, you guys. Blah. Okay. Um. So again, that's not my puppy. Again, so wonderful. Absolutely love this book. Um, okay, another fantastic series that will get them engaged and invo involved in what they're doing. This is All Better. This is one of our sticker books. This are reusable stickers. Okay, so you have these reusable stickers. They're plastic with a little sticky on the back. Um, and they're washable, you guys. You just stick this underneath cold water and rinse them off and they will stick back to the surface if they start to lose that sticky. So you read through the book and you get to bandage up your animals. Um, so you can see he stepped on his trunk and he needs a band-aid so we wash it clean it and make it all better um absolutely wonderful wonderful book teaching them about um compassion and about showing love to others when they need it most um also little bear needs glasses again a sticker book um, it has five stickers. They're all here in the back of my book. They all have glasses. Now, um, we'll just use one of these real quick and I'll show you inside. These are so much fun. So this one, Bear is stumbling around. Here, hold on guys. Bear is stumbling around. He can't see well. He makes mistakes. He needs glasses. And all of his friends start to show them, start to show him that it's okay. And he doesn't need to worry. In fact, it's going to help him see better. See? Isn't that so cute with his glasses on? So he says, um, little bear needs glasses, but mouses are not quite right. They don't fit him. Um, and he can't see very well still. So finally, spoiler alert, in the very end, Little Bear does find glasses just for him that work just for him. And he looks so cute. And he and all his friends all have glasses. So if you have a little one who's kind of insecure about having glasses or... Um, you know, just to help, again, teach that compassion and that um, it's it's okay if you're a little bit different. So there you go. And then, let's see. The next ones I wanted to show you. 
um, or for more toddler age, this is the Lift and Look series. This one is under the sea. Lift and Look is amazing. Vibrant, vibrant colors. Easy, big flaps. Okay, so there's it. Fun. Um, and the whole time throughout the book, you're looking for a tiny little goldfish. And you have to find him on every page. There he is, right there. Um, and it's just, it's very engaging and fun to look at, to read through. Um, start teaching them how to care for their flap books. Um, and, you know, another one that read together um, and help them learn how to take care of their books. Um, okay, so the next series I wanted to show you is the Peek Inside series. This is one of our newer books, Sleeping Beauty. I love this book. I love the Peek Inside. There's so much going on. You got cutouts. You got um, a sweet story. You've got flaps. This is a great read aloud. A wonderful read aloud story for any age. Okay, so we've got that one. Um, again, the Sleeping Beauty, or the Beauty and the Beast, excuse me. It's the same type of thing. It's the peek inside, so you get to peek inside the castle. But beautiful illustrations, beautiful story. Um, another great series we have is um, our Lift a Flap series. Okay, so uh, here's what our germs. This is our very first questions and answers series. So we have a huge section, or a huge Lift a Flap um, series. I can't, couldn't think of the word. Huge Lift a Flap series that's. Um, First, that's question and answer. So this is our very first questions and answers. This is what are germs and what is poop. And we have two brand new ones that I should be getting in the mail later on today, but I don't have them yet. Yeah, I'm really excited to get this box. Um, okay, so what are your what are germs? It just goes through and it actually tells you and teaches you what germs are really are. They t it talks about bacteria and viruses and differences between the two. Um, and lifting the flap kind of tricks your brain into remembering the information that's behind the flap. Like, like you're discovering it. Um, and they really do remember the things that are in these books. Um, these are really fun, engaging stories. Well, not, well, the questions and answers aren't necessarily stories, but they have a lot of really fun information, um, like what is poop and who poops and what color it is and, um, what size, all the differences between everything. I just, it's really a wonderful book. So there you go. There's the What Are Germs. Now my last one that I wanted to show today, um, because this is getting kind of long, but the last one that I wanted to show today is the How To Series. Now these are like, this is like how to teach your, ch how to feed your cheeky monkey, how to brush your teeth with snappy croc, um, how to bathe your little dinosaur, and there's one more, and it's called How to Tuck in Your Sleepy Lion. Um, I don't have that one here on hand, but these are wonderful board books, and I'll let you see inside Cheeky Monkey real quick. You, this little girl is teaching her stuffed animal how to eat properly. And how to clean up. And they can actually take their stuffed animals and teach them how. Because as we teach, we learn. 
so much fun to read these books. It's actually one of my most favorite series that we have. Well, that's it for today for our Live at Lunch. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that you enjoy this. Give me a thumbs up and like my page if you do. Um, also, you can visit me on YouTube um, at planetusborn.com, and you can join my VIP group, which is also linked to this page. So y'all have a good day. Let me know if you need anything, and I'll talk with you later. Bye!